Hello and welcome back to another episode of Splinter Cell Blacklist. Today we are still trying to get to American Fuel. So let's see. Gulf of Mexico solo campaign. Still got all this shit to do. All these co op solo missions. I'm thinking I'll do those. Maybe I'll do those on Twitch on a, in a stream and just do them real fast. I'm not sure yet. But, for now, let's just focus on the solo campaign. Come on, man. You gotta talk to me. Negative on that, Briggs. You have any idea how many bridges you burn with that Gitmo stunt? It was necessary. Are you arguing with the results? It's not about the results. You know it. You pulled agency favors and made the agency look bad. You took the star witness out of play, even if he was chicken feet. Langley doesn't like that. What are you saying? I'm saying don't call anymore. You might want to think about making that transfer permanent. Uh-oh. Briggs is in trouble. Intercept a fuel tanker that is suspected to be a target of the American fuel blacklist attack. Thanks. Let me know if Ollie needs anything. Apart from some cosmetic damage, it looks like the plane is fine. It's good to hear. Charlie. What? Any update on that hijacked ship we're after? I'm still working on it. They named the attack American Fuel. A loaded tanker would make one hell of a weapon. What the hell just happened? Don't look at me. Graham? The SMI isn't responding. I'm locked out. Charlie? Trying a workaround. Briggs, you got anything? Nothing. All I got is lighting and internal comms. This is the flight deck. We're losing engine power. How long can we glide? We're talking minutes. Navigation systems are down. We have only manual flight controls. We're gonna check the rear panel. I can't get us up and running that fast. I don't even know how they got control of the plane. Talk to me, buddy, damn it. Flight deck, what's going on? This is the co-pilot. We need a medic. What's wrong? The captain cracked his head when the plane dropped. It's bad. He's unconscious. Repeat, the pilot is down. Is the plane under control? Shit. All the engines are dead. Trying to restart. I'm locked out of the navigation controls. Can you fly? Yes. I mean, no. I can try to keep it together manually, keep her in a glide, but I need another pilot. It takes two people to properly work the controls. Well, that's fantastic. He's, this is like the movie Flight in the first like 20 minutes. Splinter Cell Flight Edition. Splinter Cell Loading Edition, actually. Briggs, check on the pilot. Where are you going? To get Coven. 28,000 feet. I give Fisher props for wanting to walk during this. Hey, let me guess. We're totally fucked and I'm the only one who can unfuck us, right? The pilot's unconscious. Shit! What happened to the co-pilot? He's flying it manually. I get it, it's a two-man job. Dump the power, kill the backup generator, reboot the system. Okay, I gotta get to the flight deck. Let me out of here, Fisher. Fisher, let me out of here. Take care of the power. Hey, dump some cargo while you're down there. It'll buy us some time. Briggs. Head to the back of the plane. We need to lose cargo fast. On my way. Let's go, Fisher. Let's go. Sam, I've got the cargo bay door open. Now, I bet now you're starting to wish they didn't have a 10,000 digit code to open the door. We need to lose weight. Guys, we're 
you're about to hit some rough air, you better strap in. Not an option! Shit! <laughs> Just get me late on that. I'll shoot it free. You think you can hit it from up there? I guess we'll find out. Get line of fire. Oh, this is what this section's for. This area up here. Completely forgot. Almost there, Sam. Just a little further. I don't think this is entirely safe. Down the crane. You should be able to get your eyes on it. I'll get there as soon as I can type in this 10,000 digit code. Don't worry, Coben. I'll be there. Access hatch to the electrical bay is there. I can't do shit with this, Ed. Coben, generator's offline. All right, good. Now hang on. We need to take her into a steep dive. Get your ass to the cockpit. I need your help with startup. Come on, Fisher. Damn, hurry. Shut up. Um, the plane is kind of at a 90 degree angle, so shut the fuck up. What's the problem? He wants to reinstall the whole system mid-flight. Yeah, I'd be done by now if this jackass would get out of my way. He'll crash the plane! What the fuck do you think is about to happen? <laughs> Let him at it. It's active. Alright. Okay, for sure. You gotta pump fuel back into the engines, alright? If I get this thing back online, we're gonna have seconds to fire it up. Manual fuel pump controls are in there. All right, once I reboot, you gotta pull back hard. Okay, we're gonna get one shot at this. Three, two, one, now! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, you bitch, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up! Good job, guys. Good job, well done. Load, 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 load. Uh, this loading screen's gonna put me to sleep. God, I wish there was a way to speed this up. What's our status? The main systems are back online. She's flying, but we're flying blind. 
Grim, internal comms work, but the other communication systems are still offline. Hey, guys, what the hell just happened? We were hit with a Stuxnet-style virus. I rebooted the SMI from backup, did a full system scrub, we're clean. How'd the engineers get a virus on my plane? We'll do the forensics and get you some answers. Oh, shit. What now? It's a communique we received right before the plane went dark. The White House activated continuity of government. What does that mean? It means all the top military and government brass were sent to protected bunkers to make sure they survive. The last time that happened was 9-11. Oh my god. Do you think that last blacklist attack... We don't know that yet, Charlie. Just focus on restoring communications. What? Did we miss American fuel? Do we gotta talk to everyone again? Hey Briggs, any problems? Yeah. Suddenly I don't think about throwing Coben out the cargo bay door all the time. It's weird. First time for everything. Yeah. I guess even an asshole could be a hero sometimes. That's all for now. We'll talk later, Sam. Alright, I guess that was a level. <laughs> Shot two bullets. Any update on how we were hit with the virus? Fought zero enemies. I gave Charlie point on that. You find anything? Nothing. That's not like him. He'd take a stab at a guess before he'd ever admit to not knowing something. Yeah, he seems off to me too. Thanks, Grim. I'll talk to you later. Can I talk to Sarah again? Even though probably about ten minutes ago last time. Recon data. Yay, concept art. Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Sarah Fisher. Leave a message after the tone and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks. Guess not. I'll still go talk to Charlie, though. And I'm sure Coben has wants some ass kissing. Can I even climb up this? Oh, I can. What's up here? Hmm. I doubt they said anything interested in the entire game anyway. doing Charlie good yeah I mean fine considering I had to roll the system back to before the virus so you know the exact time we got hit no I mean maybe it's, it's just hard to tell you know I'll follow up with Grim she said you knew I don't like this running back and forth shit yeah, I should get back to work anyway okay I'll check Grim again Where are you, Grim? Grim? Sam. Thanks, Grim. No problem. Good talk. Good talk. Well, that was a short level, so I think I'm just going to end it at the same place as usual. Um, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Huh. God, I'm t I need a nap or something. So intense. But, uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to drop a like, comment, favorite, all that bullshit. And I will talk to you guys later.